Hey, what is up? This is Tyler Pratt. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about buying traffic the right way. Now, you're probably coming online, you're probably thinking, I gotta buy traffic. Somebody said buy traffic. Maybe you watched another video and they said, you gotta buy traffic for your business. And let me just tell you, buying traffic for your business is gonna be one of the best things that you can do. But it also can be very scary because you're thinking, I gotta spend money in order to make money. That's exactly what you have to do. And I wanna go over a few things with you to kind of help you uh, get through the process of buying traffic online, where to find it, and uh, really how to make sure that you're not getting uh, taken and you're just wasting money, okay? But before we do that, uh, click on the subscribe button, also click on that bell option, that way you get notified of all of the videos that I come out with on a daily basis for you. So buying traffic is gonna be the best way to build your business, it's gonna be the best way to scale your business up. But you have to be really careful because you can spend money and not get anything back in return. You want to be able to get to the point where you're spending, let's say, a dollar and you're getting back a dollar, you know, a two dollars. Uh, getting, you know, spending a dollar, getting back a dollar fifty. That's that's a profit. That's what you want to be doing. Uh, and there's ways to do that. Now let's talk about a couple of different ways of really getting traffic. Number one, you can go to like Facebook ads. Okay, Facebook ads is where you can buy ads. And you can target specific audiences, very specific uh, audiences for that. <clears throat> you can also go to Google AdWords. You can buy um, links inside of their search engine. You can go to YouTube right here and you can buy uh, YouTube ads. You can also go to Twitter and you can actually put ads onto Twitter. Instagram will allow you to put Instagram um, ads on their Instagram platform. You do that through your Facebook um, business manager. Also, um, I believe that uh, Snapchat is also coming out with an ad platform that you can uh, buy ads through them. Now for me, oh, and also there's other ways, let's just talk about some other ways. Um, you can buy solo ads from, from vendors where you can go and, and they have mailing lists and they'll actually mail for you. If you're looking to build an email list, uh, it's a great way to, to buy traffic. Uh, but l let me just talk about some of the ways that I've bought traffic in the past uh, and what I like to do today so I've always um, you know I've, I've bought Google AdWords in the past uh, to me Google AdWords is very expensive uh, you really have to have a big budget to do Google AdWords uh, just because of the a lot of the keywords are, are so expensive right now we're talking you know the, some of the keywords that are out there could be 10 15 20 even thirty dollars per click okay we're not talking about conversions but per click uh, Facebook, I've always bought Facebook ads. Um, Facebook ads is really good. Uh, I really like Facebook ads because it really gets targeted to uh, what I want. So I can really target, I can narrow down specifically who I want. Now I use Facebook ads a lot for retargeting, which is uh, people that come to my website uh, or people that are on my email list. What I do is I like to show ads to them because they know me, they, they've they seen my videos before. So it's it's not just a random ad that's being put in front, in front of random people. I like to put my ads in front of people that have gone to my website, they see me, they know me, uh, maybe they see me a couple times. Um, those, those are the ads that I like to run with Facebook. Um, so I don't do a lot of new targeting into new interests, just a lot of retargeting of uh, existing traffic that I get to, uh, let's say my blog and, and my email list, okay? YouTube ads, um, YouTube ads um, are, I'm sorry, YouTube ads are going to be really good, but you have to create a video, and, you, and it's got to be able to video that's going to be able to get people to uh, get them off YouTube and onto your um, email list. It could be onto a webinar, it could be onto a sales page. But you got to get them off YouTube and get them onto your page. Um, can be tricky. You got to really understand the dynamics of it. Uh, so YouTube is going to be, uh, it's a little more advanced. Um, Facebook is going to be one of the easiest platforms to, to use in order to buy traffic. Um, Twitter I've not used. I've heard really good things about Twitter. Um, I just haven't really used Twitter yet because I just don't, uh, Twitter is just not my social platform to, to get into. Instagram, I've tried Instagram. I didn't really have much success with Instagram. Um, I just couldn't get any any return through Instagram uh, through that. And plus, the, um, right now, they won't let you, uh, I, I wanna target my own Instagram page and I'm not gonna be able to do that, okay? Maybe I haven't figured it out, but. I just hadn't had the time to get into it. So Instagram is something that, that I haven't done. Um, and Snapchat, obviously I don't use Snapchat, so I haven't done their platform uh, for you know buying traffic through them. Now solo ads, solo ads is gonna be one of the best ways for me. I love solo ads. 
uh, because I understand it. I understand how to convert solo ads uh, really good. So I really like solo ads because I, I'm looking for a lead and, and when you're on Facebook and you're buying traffic, you're, you're buying the clicks to get leads. And so I wanna just get the lead. Um, now, I've also bought traffic from vendors who claim to uh, have real-time leads. And what they'll do is they'll dump the leads right into your autoresponder. But um, I have not had any success with those, okay? They're gonna say that their, their leads are great, but I feel like uh, uh, the reason why I don't like those is because I'm not in control of the ad. I wanna be in control of what I say on the ad and wh where it's going, okay? So uh, we're talking about like leads that, that say, hey, you know, we can put leads, we have real-time leads and we'll give you these leads and we'll put them into your autoresponder. I've not had any much success with those. Uh, so, uh, you know, you just gotta kind of go with them if you wanna go with them. Solo ads and Facebook ads for me are the two of the top uh, traffic sources that I like to buy. Now here's the key with traffic sources, okay? And this is very important, and I, I hope you really understand this, is that uh, if you're gonna be buying a piece of traffic, you have to track every click that you do on that traffic, okay? It's imperative that you do this. It's so important because if you just throw money at something on, on an ad and you're not tracking it, you don't know whether that ad is performing or not. You gotta be able to see if that ad that you buy is turning into a sale or a profit for you because if you're spending hundred dollars on Facebook ads and you're not getting any sales on that ad it's a, it's you're just wasting money you're just throwing money away you're just burning it it's just it's you just you might as well give it to me and let me go to Vegas and throw it on to the roulette table okay so if you're not tracking it you're just you might as well just take your money and just burn it okay it's just crazy and I see people a lot doing that they're not tracking so you have to know exactly, right? When somebody clicks on an ad, they come to your landing page, you gotta see, did you get a lead, okay? Does that ad produce a lead? If that ad produced a lead, does that lead turn into a sale, okay? So then if you have a sale on the back end and you're able to take that money and reinvest that money, you're able to see, yes, these, these ads are working. So when you see an ad that's working, then all you do is you just ramp it up. You just if you're spending $10 a day, you just keep, you can go to $25 a day or maybe $50 a day. You can just ramp it up and, you know, obviously increase your, uh, your spend on your ads. Same thing with solo ads. If you find a vendor that's, that's producing sales for you, then you want, you want to do is you just keep buying from that vendor. Okay. Obviously they have good traffic. For me, I test all of this, the solo vendors that I buy traffic from. I know exactly who sends me sales, I know who does, does not send me sales, so I just keep rebuying traffic from those that um, are sending me sales. And the only way I'm, I'm able to do that is I'm able to track those sales on the back end. I can see exactly where those sales are coming from. The program that I use to track everything is I use Click Magic. It's a great program. You might wanna use other programs, but Click Magic for me is just, it's really simple. I just drop a, a code onto my thank you page there's also a code on my, on my sales thank you page. That way I can see the sales coming in, I can see the leads coming in. Uh, it's just a great program. Uh, and you just go to clickmagic.com for that. Now also if you do Facebook, they have a pixel that you put onto you, all of your pages and you can, um, you can see the, the, the conversions from the traffic. You just gotta set that up into your audiences. But you wanna be able to, to track that traffic. It's just so, it's so, so important that if you're tracking. If you're not tracking, don't buy, don't buy paid ads, okay? Just, just stay away from them because you'll end up losing your money, you'll get frustrated, and you know, you'll quit, and I don't want you to quit. I want you to keep going. So make sure that you're tracking all of your traffic. If you want it, 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 and it goes with anything. If you're using Facebook, I mean, if you're using Twitter, if you're using YouTube ads, uh, you can use the same exact tracking system to track all of your traffic. You just you just um, create a unique link for every ad that you that you put up. So if you have a banner somewhere, then you have a very unique link that's specific for that banner. And when somebody clicks on that banner and they go to your page and they opt in or they make a sale, you can pinpoint exactly that banner that's producing the sale. And if that and if there's a banner on a website and it's producing sales for you, what do you do? You just keep um, spending more money on that banner. So like if you had 10 banners on a website and one of those 10 banners is the only one that's cr creating sales for you, 
Then you dump the other nine banners and you create and you leave that one banner that's on a website. Same thing with Facebook ads. If you have 10 ads running with Facebook ads and only one of the ads out of the 10 is producing sales for you, what do you do? You dump the other nine and you keep that one ad and you keep, keep you know, putting money into that ad or create variations of that ad and see if you can expand just on that, okay? Solo ads, if you go to a solo ad vendor, if you go to anywhere, um, you know, any solo ad vendors that you go to, if you go to, the, to, to Udemy, if you go to um, you know, the solo ad testimonial on Facebook, any of those, you have to have a unique link for every uh, solo ad vendor that you buy solo traffic from. And when you get those, that unique link, they click on it, they go to your page, they opt in, you see the sale, if you get a sale from that person, great. If not, then you never buy any traffic from them again. And if, and if it's really bad traffic, then you make sure you tell other people about it. Stay away from this vendor. Okay. So that's really how you buy traffic. That's how you buy, you know, internet traffic. And if you're afraid to buy traffic, you got to get that fear out of your mind. It's so important that you get it out and just let it go because buying traffic is really the only way it's going to really scale your business. I mean. It, you can do the blogging, you can do the videos, and those are going to be slow scaling, and eventually that'll start to take off. But but if you wanted to get in right now, and you want to start, you know, making the money that you want, buying traffic is going to be where it's at. But it's only if you can track it, and only if if you can see a rate of return. Okay, anything you do in business, you you need to be able to get a rate of return. You need to be able to get a return back. You need to be able to spend a thousand, get back. Uh, 1500 so you can take that 500 plus that thousand reinvest it back in or you can take that 500 go do what you want but you've made a profit on that thousand that's how you do it with paid ads okay so there you go if you like this video click on the like button also share it with your friends comment below let me know how I can help your business this is Tyler Pratt I hope you enjoyed that and we will see you on the next one Woo!